Hey guys, I want to thank you for joining me in the studio today. Today, I wanted to show you guys a fun little tutorial using toilet paper rolls. We're going to make a unicorn. And this is out of a toilet paper roll. And we got three little unicorns all here. And you guys can make as many as you want. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this with a couple of items that you can use in your home. Okay, let me show you what we need. So of course you're going to need a toilet paper roll, some yarn. I have this colorful ball of yarn, but if you have any color, you can use what you want. If you don't have yarn, you can definitely use paper. You can cut up paper to look like hair and use that in place of the yarn, so that would be pretty great. And then we also have tempura sticks. I have a couple of these here, but if you don't have tempura sticks, you can definitely use markers or paint or whatever you have on hand. You need tape, just regular scotch tape is really good. And a Sharpie or just a dark looking marker or pen, okay? All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get to making. So as you can see, without the hair, that's what our unicorn basically looks like. So what we're gonna do first is cut out the shape of our unicorn out of our toilet paper roll. So you're gonna take your toilet paper roll and you're going to, you can use a pen or pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sharpie so you guys can see. Just make the horn. Our unicorn has a horn, and then a little space, and then some ears. A little space, and then some ears. And that's our unicorn head. And that's where you guys are gonna cut on the top. You're gonna cut that part out, okay? Also going to cut the side of the head out. So just draw those down all the way. And that's our unicorn head. Then you guys need to grab scissors and cut that out. Or you can have a grown-up do that as well. Once you guys have cut out the unicorn head, we're going to go ahead and make the cutouts on the bottom for the feet. So those are four cutouts going around for our feet. So we're going to have one small in the front, another one in the back, a small one, and then two larger cutouts on the sides. Okay guys, once you've cut out your legs, we're gonna go ahead and paint. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this little boo-boo that I made. I kinda cut a little bit too far into the leg. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that. You just take a little piece of tape, and you wanna tape the inside, because we're gonna paint the outside. It's kinda like doing surgery, or we're fixing up our unicorn like a little doctor. Put that right on the inside and you're good to go. The leg is all attached and much better. Here we go. Now once you guys have cut out your unicorn shape and you fixed up how you want it to look and everything, guys can go ahead and paint it. Whatever color you want to paint it, that's your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and paint mine white. So when painting your unicorn, you can use acrylic paint, tempera paint, or some of the paint sticks that you have. Either way, 
you can go ahead and cover your unicorn with any color or markers if you want to use markers you can use those two or colored pencils if you don't have anything else on hand you can use whatever you have on hand to go ahead and paint um sorry cover your unicorn Okay guys, once you've painted your unicorn white and you've let it dry, it's completely dry, check it out, make sure it's dry, we're gonna go ahead and get a hole puncher. A hole puncher looks like this. If you don't have a hole puncher, you can just go ahead and get your parents to grab a knife and they can go ahead and put that hole through. So we just need a hole here because that's where the tail is gonna go. And then we can start working on our unicorn face. So you, I'm gonna use, this is another tempera stick. You can get these at Michael's or wherever you can get your craft supplies. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do my unicorn's ears inside. I'm gonna go ahead and take another tempera stick and I think I'm gonna do it in gold. So this is a gold, shiny gold, and that's the color I'm gonna paint my horn. And you guys don't have to do yours the same color, you can do whatever you like. I love the way the gold shines and it looks super magical. Cause that's how a unicorn horn looks, right guys? It's magical. Now you want to work on your unicorn face. So I'm just going to use a Sharpie, a regular black Sharpie, but if you have any color permanent markers on hand, you can use those. And we're going to do eyes. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do also is put the pink tempura, the one that I used for the ears. We're gonna go ahead and make little cheeks. also going to do is use our black sharpie or like I said you can use your sharpie or you can use black paint but we're gonna just make a little U for our unicorn head. Just a U shape for the chin and take it right down the bottom. And we're also going to use tempera sticks for the hooves. So I'm going to use this pink. And you want to just color right at the bottom. Once we're done with the hooves, now we're gonna do the fun part, which is the hair. So for the hair in the front, we're gonna go ahead and take a piece of tape. So I've already cut my yarn strips. And they should be fairly short compared to your tail strips. If you guys can see, these are the tail strips. These are way longer. But these are my hair strips. So we're gonna go ahead and cut those if you've already cut them, that's good. So you wanna cut those just enough to make the hair. And then you're gonna take your scotch tape, a really 
a little bit larger than the amount of hair is there. And you're gonna just press your hair onto the scotch tape. Just like that. So you can have it all wrapped up. And then we're gonna put our hair behind our unicorn head. And don't worry about if it's gonna go over because it's clear tape. And that's perfectly okay. We'll wrap it around. And you've got your unicorn mane. Doesn't that look awesome? So for the tail now, we are gonna go ahead and stick the yarn right through that hole there. So what I did was I would grab it, just like this, kind of just hold it and tie it up. And just push it right through. Once you got it, you just pull it, and there is your unicorn tail. And just like that, you guys have made your very own unicorn toilet paper roll. And this is great to play with. You guys can put it on display. You can even, if the hair's a little long, you can play haircut with it or barber, but it's just a fun way to pass the time in our quarantine. And thank you guys for joining me in the studio today. I hope you really enjoy this craft. Please take photos and tag me at Star Sky Art Studios in it. I'd love to see your creations. Thank you guys for joining me.